Hey guys, welcome to TaxSource.tv. Now today we're reviewing something a little different from our normal. We're reviewing AMD's RAM disk software using AMD memory. So we have a, a, a actually an 8 gig kit of memory here. It's DDR3 1866 memory. So that's really fast memory actually. Um, now this is the AMD Radeon Performance Edition. They have a few different versions of the RAM. So, um, But we're going to be reviewing their uh, AMD RAM disk today using the AMD Performance Memory. So stick around. AMD Radeon RAM Disk Software is the full name for this uh, little suite of uh, pretty cool awesomeness, I would say. The AMD RAM Disk uh, Radeon Software, uh, AMD Radeon uh, RAM Disk is pretty cool. So when you, I just want to say right off the bat, there's a few different ways you can run it. Now, um, it is a free uh, software you can get, and if you have, doesn't matter what brand of memory you is, you don't need AMD memory to run it, but if you do have AMD memory, uh, you do get a few benefits with the free license. Now, with the free license, you get up to a 4 gigabyte RAM disk, depending on how much memory your system has to it. it will, there's recommendations on their website of you know, how, much, how big your RAM disk should be with how much system memory you have. Um, if you do have AMD memory, now the faster the memory, the better, because that's going to make your RAM disk faster. So as, you, as we have 1866, which is blisteringly fast, but uh, 1600 will work fine. 1366 should be fine. I mean, 1333 should be fine, but I would recommend uh, 1600 instead. It's a lot, it's a lot quicker. And 1866 is just even crazier. So, um, anyways, so with a free license uh, and you don't have AMD memory, you're allowed four gigabytes of RAM disk. If you have AMD memory, um, you can go up to six gigabytes. Now, if you pay the $18.99 US dollars, uh, you can go up to 64 gigabytes. So it's a lot more freedom. So with ours, we just ran the free license we got off the uh, AMD RAM di off the, off the, with the AMD memory. So we got six gigabytes. Um, we installed it both on Windows 7 and on Windows 8. It works great. We mixed it with uh, AMD memory and on AMD memory, and we still got the six gigabytes. So that was awesome. Um, we tested it a few different ways. I ran it up, copied a bunch of crap back and forth, uh, ran a few games off of it, and I ran Crystal Dismark, and I'll show you that in a second. Other cool things about this AMD RAM disk software is it's super easy to set up. You can format it in any format uh, or partition you want. So NTFS, FAT32, uh, you can set it up to be unformatted, so then you can just format it to what you want. Um, as well as one thing you might be wondering, okay, well, RAM disks, it's running off your memory, right? So when you turn your PC off, everything's gone. Yes. But with the AMD RAM disk software, if you set it up right, um, you can tell it to save your AMD RAM disk on disk, so when you turn off your PC, it writes it out to disk, and then you're good to go. Um, so that's that's actually a really nice feature. And then when you load up your PC, it loads it back up. Um, so you lose a bit of time on shutdown and reloads on your system, but mainly PCs who are, are computers that we running RAM disks don't generally get shut down. So it's ideal for servers, workstations, and things like that. As a general desktop user, I wouldn't recommend it, but it, there is good uses for it. So for example, MMOs and things like that, big games. So there's good uses for that as well. Um, now, as well as it works on Intel systems and AMD systems, if you are wondering, and a minimum uh, memory required to run it is three gigabytes, but they recommend four. And as well as I said, it's already free. It's free software, so you can pick it up for free. Now I'm going to run over some quick recommended sizes. If you've got a three gigabytes memory in your system, they recommend up to 500 megs as a RAM disk software. If you got four, you can go to you can go, you can do one gigabyte of a RAM disk. If you got six gigabytes of memory in your system, you can do two gigabytes. Of, um, of a RAM disk. Now if you have, um, and then just keep kind of scaling up from there. So we had 16 gigabytes when we had a six gigabyte RAM disk, but the recommended for having 16 gigs of RAM is like a 10 gig RAM disk. So that's pretty awesome. So if I did have like the, the full suite of software, it'd be pretty sweet to test that. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys our tests and how it went. And as I said, it's super easy to set this up. Like I, pretty much anyone can do it. So it's really awesome. So anyways, I'll show you guys um, the results.
conclusions. I just want to quickly wrap up over the results that you guys saw. It's pretty insane how fast this RAM disc is. When in the crystal mark, uh, crystal disc mark, it, it was insane. Read like in the sequential read and write, we got crazy speeds of like the write being nine hundred and nine uh, six. 9,669 megabytes per second, and the sequential write, I mean read, is uh, 7,150. That's insane. Even the, f like, it's just it's just crazy fast. Even when you write things from, like, disk or anything else, it's just done. And, and, like, I was writing things from gigabit to it from another system. It, it just maxed out gigabit, and gigabit couldn't go anymore. I was like, oh, well, that sucks. So it doesn't matter what you throw at it. It's just going to go, give me more. I'm got plenty of room here it's like the biggest highway on your computer and as well as just in like playing like trying to load games for example like you could load if you buy the twenty dollar license like it's eighteen ninety nine so it's pretty much twenty bucks and um if you buy that license you can make it pretty big and then like throw any like your any big game on there so for example world of warcraft and i know that's got you know a couple instances that take a while to load and the game initially takes a bit to load so why not throw it on there and you have a lot less loading time you don't have to worry about any stuttering or anything like that so any big games like MMOs would be great for a RAM disk, especially if you've got all your different add-ons and everything like that, just run it in the RAM disk. Especially it'd be good for, you know, tons of other, uh, as I said, like workstation users, servers, because servers would just be like, oh my god, no more bottleneck, and just have all your apps running on the RAM. It'd be so much better. So, pretty much the full summarization of this is RAM disks are awesome, they are stupid fast, and extremely useful um, if you do have enough memory in your system. So, for us, our 6 gb RAM disk, it's all right. I would say go to something bigger because it's definitely something more usable and you believe I'd say six would be your minimum. Um, if you guys want to try it out, just hit up AMD's website. You can just Google search AMD RAM disk and actually it's AMD memory, no, radeonmemory.com um, and then you can find it on there. That's that's where the, and you can download the RAM disk. You can try out the four gigabyte one. If you want, go ahead and go buy the 64 gig one. Or if you got some AMD memory, you got the six gigabyte license, which is a lot nicer. Now, if you're asking any if you guys are wondering, can you run AMD memory with other memory and still get the six gigabytes? Yes, I was running the AMD memory with G Skill memory, and I still got my six gigabyte license, which is awesome. Sometimes it did contradict and say, "Whoa, you need AMD memory if you want six gigs," and then I just restarted the system. It was fine. Once I think that happened like once or twice, and then I just shifted the AMD memory to the first slots, and it was fine. Um, but that was about it. Besides that, setting it up is really easy. Uh, you can set it to auto save. So when you turn off your system, it saves everything and writes it out to disk, as I said. And when you start up your system, it automatically loads it back up. You can have NTFS partitions. You can have FAT32 partitions. FAT partitions are unformatted partitions. You can set up whatever way you really want, um, which is really nice. So, um, oh, another good use for this would be uh, virtual machines as well. So there's a lot of good uses for this. So pretty much, if you got extra memory laying around, build a RAM disk because it's pretty awesome. So, anyways, guys, we'll see you guys next time on the TechSource.tv. My name is Dan signing off, and RAM disks are sweet.